All right, this is video three of my tutorial. Um, this is just kind of basics shown over the very, very basics of Gary's Mod. Uh, we're on part three now. If you haven't watched anything of mine yet, I recommend you go back to two or one uh, to get where we started off. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and go where we left off from. And that was just getting finished up the weld tool. Um, next tool I guess I could show you is the rope tool. Now, uh, when you first look at it, it's going to be mostly like this. There's not going to be really any difference. This might be a little bit different, whatever. Um, just to remember that when you first grab it, it's just a regular rope. And so that's the rope. It makes a rope between the two points and it will act like a rope. But uh, taking into consideration that if you have this ticked, it no longer acts like a rope. It acts like a bar between the two. I don't know how to, us to really describe it other than that, but it won't. See how I'm pushing it toward it and it's like pushing the whole, the other prop with it. Whoa. Um, that's what the rigid does. Just think of it as a rope that turned solid. Um, that's what the rigid will do. Normally, if you have it, um, the rope will like, it'll let you go in. It'll start to dangle at some point too. Anyway, um, so that's what the rigid part of this does. The force limit is the same as the weld. It's just how strong the bond is um, of the rope. Um, add length. Uh, if you want the rope to be longer than the two points you click, you would add some length to it. Um, you can also do a negative number, and it'll make the rope technically shorter than the two points you put it. So let's just go ahead and show a little example of that. Let's add 136 units to it. There you go. You see how it droops down? Because there's extra length and now it's that's where it freaks out um if i do negative so negative 165 this is probably gonna freak out um i click the two yeah well that didn't do what i thought it would do let's try that again i don't know what's going on there that's great anyway generally it'll be less of the rope. Uh, it's probably because it's just the distance I have there. If I pull this out a little bit. Anyway, yeah, you see that how it snapped a little bit closer. Anyway, so, yep, that's just the, you know, the shortening of it when you do that. And then width is just the visual. These, these two here are just visual effects. If I change the width to something really high. Oh! You can see that that rope is very wide. Let's actually change this back to zero. And if you notice what I did there, you can highlight any of these numbers and type it. So you don't have to like try to, you know, get zero back or whatever. You can just you pop done. And you can also, if you hover over any part of the left part of the bar, you can do you can click and you this is like a micro adjustment kind of thing. It's very, very useful. But still it's not it's kinda hard to get zero again. Anyway, um, so the width you know, you can do that. Change it to anything you want. Generate it's like one. And then this is the texture of the rope. You saw I was at this earlier, more of the cable kind of looking one. And then I went to a rope. There's all kinds. You can barely see that one. Um, but yeah, that's rope. Pretty simple, pretty useful. I use it quite often, honestly, on the rigid setting, because you, um, you can do some pretty cool stuff that way, especially with vehicles. All right, so let's move on. Let's see, what's uh, what's something else? Um, axis. This one's a little bit complicated, but if you've gotten to this point and you haven't got any kind of confusion or anything, especially with my really horrible way of teaching, then you should probably get this just fine. So I'm going to get a couple of different props here. And then I'm going to grab the axis tool. And I'm just going to show you first before I explain anything. I'm gonna click, click, and it moves. So I move over like that. Oh, that reminds me. i got to show you something else in a minute after this. Anyway, um, what that did is it created an axis. And an axis, if you think about it like a wheel, that's what an axis does. It uh, it makes that type of bond, like how a wheel has, at those two points you click. Now, a lot of these um, really depend on where you click. So you saw the rope. If I click way up in this corner... And then way up in this corner, 
The rope goes. Oh, well, that's a terrible rope, Kenny. You already see that. Do that again. You can see that the rope is relative to those points on the prop. A lot of people don't really understand that works for things like axis as well. If I click, say, in this corner of this prop, and then the middle, or let's just say the top corner here, you see it? It moved it to that point, and then when I unfreeze it, that's where the axis point is. So you just got to keep that in mind with all the, a lot of these tools. A lot of tools, it really makes a difference. Anyway, that's the axis tool. Um, now, with its um, settings here, you know force limit. It's the same thing. It's uh, it's bond. Torque limit. Um, uh, wait. Straight for break. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's rotational torque. So if the rotational torque is high enough, it'll break. So it's similar to force limit, but in a rotational sense. Um, and then there's hinge friction. Which means if, say, if I do this again, and let's change the hinge friction up a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be noticeable, but do that again. Yeah. See how I can pull it, but it acts like it doesn't want to. It's 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 not so smooth. It's not so. Ah, um, uh, what's the word for it? Anyway, there's just more friction. That's exactly what hinge friction means. So it's uh, generally used for if you need to be a little bit more controlling in how it moves. So uh, I can't really think of any examples, but say you have this needs to be set to a very specific spot. And if it, the hinge friction was set too low, it will go too wobbly or something. Generally, it adds a lot of stability when you put a little bit of friction to it. Anyway, um, something I want to kind of backpedal on um, was the weld tool. It has another function to it. Uh, if you look on the uh, tool tips, it says if you right click versus left click, you can do what's called easy weld. So if I click here, and then you can see I've got this weird shadow thing, and then click somewhere else, bam, it moved there. Now, if I rotate my mouse right now, it'll actually rotate that prop. See that? I move my mouse play, uh, right and left, and it moves it clockwise and counterclockwise. So it's just a, a kind of a very specific how you want it to be there. And then you right click one more time, and now it is welded. So that same constraint we were investing with earlier is now done like that. So it's a lot easier to make things go into very specific spots. So say we have a couple of these, and I want to smart weld this i'm gonna do it on instead of doing it on this side i'm gonna do it on the very edge here and i'm gonna weld that to that you see made it nice and flush nice and plumb that's a it's a, a lot easier way of doing it and if you notice um i have this grid this is just a it's called smart snap um, it's just a grid system. If I hold E, you see that I have that little X wherever I'm looking. You might not be able to see it as an X just because of the video. But um, wherever I hold E, that X turns green, and my uh, mouse point snaps to it. And I'm moving my mouse, and I can't move my mouse at all right now. So it's very useful for when you want to snap to the exact spot. So like the, the very edge of the prop, or the very middle of the prop, or somewhere in between. And I don't know if you can tell, but the center lines are bolded. There's two lines there. So it also helps with um, finding the center line of the prop. Anyway, so that's that. And I am running out of time here. I'm sorry if these are going a little bit slow, but I really want to help the people who might not quite get it if that's out of fast pace. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I will see you guys in video four. Bye-bye.